greeting students welcome back to the topic of protein chemistry so in this lecture i will be discussing ampholytes and isoelectric point so under this the learning objectives will be why amino acids are known as ampholytes what do you mean by isoelectric ph and what are zwitter ions then we will discuss about buffering action of amino acids along with the titration curve both for acidic and basic amino acids so first of all why amino acids are known as ampholytes so as we have discussed in previous lecture that amino acid contain carboxylic acid group which can donate a proton and act as an acid and amino group which can accept a proton and act as a basic group because of presence of both acidic and basic group which can donate as well as accept a proton the amino acids are known as ampholytes or amphoteric substances so here you can see it has an amino group which can accept a proton and a carboxylic acid group which can donate a proton and this ability of amino acid to donate as well as to accept a proton because of that they are known as ampholytes or amphoteric substances now we know that positively charged are known as cations and they are acidic and negative charge are anions but the one ion which has both ions positive as well as negative so that the net charge is zero are known as zwitter ions or neutral ions so here you can see the at low ph when at low ph when the solution is acidic the amino acid will accept a proton to become positive charge that is cation but at high ph when there are less protons that is the solution is alkaline the amino acid can donate a proton to neutralize it can donate a proton and it will become negatively charged and anion but between these two ph there is one isoelectric point that is that ph at which the amino acid has both positive as well as negative charge and that point of ph is known as and that ion is known as having both positive and negative charge zwitter ions and ph is isoelectric ph so if ph is less than this isoelectric ph what will happen amino acid will behave as a cation that is positive charge and if it is more ph is more that is more basic then isoelectric point the amino acid will act as a anion that is negatively charged so here again so neutral atom become cation or anion by if it is positively charged or negatively charged so in acidic environment the so in acidic environment this is a repetition the amino acid will accept a proton and become positively charged whereas in alkaline environment it will donate a proton and become negatively charged but at neutral environment at isoelectric ph it will have both charges so that the net charge is zero so at that point of ph is known as isoelectric point and the amino acid having both positive as well as negative charge is known as zwitter ion such that the net charge is zero so now in which form cation or anion the amino acid will exist it will depend on two points one is isoelectric ph of an amino acid second is ph of surrounding medium so we know that at isoelectric ph amino acid acts as zwitter ion that is has both positive and negative charge but if ph is less than that isoelectric point it will act as cation and if it is more it will act as anion so the charge which exists on amino acid depends on two points isoelectric point of that particular amino acid and ph of the surrounding medium so what is isoelectric ph it is the ph at which molecules carry equal number of positive and negative charges so that they exist as zwitter ion and net charge is zero and it is neutral so here you can see at isoelectric ph the positive and negative charges are equal and it acts as zwitter ion whereas at low ph it accepts a proton from the solution and become cation and at high ph it donates a proton and become anion so what are the properties at isoelectric point the net charge is zero but there is no mobility or electric field so 
the ions move in the electric field in case of electrophoresis on the basis of the negative charge. So, but if net charge is zero, there will be no mobility in the electric field. They get precipitated because solubility will be minimum. So, at isoelectric point, the net charge is zero. There will be no movement and precipitate they will get precipitated as solubility will be zero and on the acidic side they will act as cations and on the basic side they will act as anion now what is pka pka is a negative log of the acid dissociation constant so the strong acids have low pka weak acids have high pka so weak acid means they are towards the base alkaline they are high pka whereas strong acids will have low pka so, by taking the average of pK of two ionizable groups, so we know that amino acid has two groups, carboxylic acid group and amino group. So, by taking the mean of these two pK, we can calculate the isoelectric point. So, here you can see by this formula, pK, we first will take pK of carboxylic acid, then pK of NH3, that is that value of the dissociation constant of amino acid as well as carboxylic acid, amino group and carboxylic acid. We will take mean of that and we will get isoelectric pH. So, if amino acids, but if amino acids have more than one carboxylic acid, as we have already discussed in case of acidic amino acid, how can we calculate pI? So, at that point, so if amino acids have two carboxylic acid groups, and one basic group so how will you calculate the calculate the pi in this situation normally there is one carboxylic acid and one amino group in neutral amino acid and we take average but in acidic amino acid if there are two carboxylic acid groups and one amino group we will ignore the amino group and we will take the average of pka value of two carboxylic acid group to calculate the pi so here you can see the titration curve so this is a normal amino acid with having one carboxylic acid group and one amino group so the we will calculate the pka value at in acidic ph <coughs> that is 2.3 and pk2 value is 9.6 so here after this so at this region pk value the amino acids act as a buffer so if even if base is added to this, it will neutralize. neutralize. Similarly, the acid will be neutralized at that pH of the pK value. And the average of these two values is known as isoelectric point.